Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's BAB here and today we have a monthly favourites. It's my October favourites, so I'm gutted that October's done because Halloween's probably either my favourite kind of time or my second favourite after Christmas. So I'm sad, but anyway, I am going to jump into any of my favourites because I have like six newborn puppies in my room. There's roadworks outside and the sun's like trying to come up to my face. So I'm going to try and do this quick for you. Um, okay, so let's get started. First, what am I going to do? Okay, and Lana, do you mind? I think Mona wants attention because she makes some noise, but um, first, let's see. First, it's just this elf and Minerva Mist. It just looks like that. I've used it a few times in my videos and I really really like it, especially because I have dry skin, it just really really helps. Um, yeah, so it has loads of good stuff like witch hazel, rosemary, chamomile, honeysuckle, aloe and vitamin D, so all that good stuff and it just hydrates my skin and it will be perfect for getting into a winter when the, and the cold cold weather because that makes me sound like extra dry, like extra dry. Right, okay, next, do you call lipstick? It just looks like that. It is called 01 Desert Sand. So little swatch. Even though I am wearing it today, that's the swatch. It's just like I just feel like it's like the perfect nude, you know? It's just a little bit of pink in it, but it's not overpowering. I just really really like it. It's really really nice and soft and creamy. I'm also going to mention these right now. It's just the Primark lip liners, which are a pound. I feel like I have every colour, or almost every colour. Um, yeah, obviously they're not as long lasting as MAC, but to be honest, I feel like they do the job, especially for a pound. I'm really like, loving day two. Next is just this Morphe brush. It's just the Morphe M441. It just looks like that. It's just been my favourite crease brush. It's just like the perfect size. I mean, I use this for very, very basic days like today, and I use it for my like dramatic looks. I just love it. I feel like I need to get a backup because I'm scared in case it goes out of stock and I'm like, and I'll lose it or something like that because I lose everything, I'm not going to lie. So yeah, I really been liking this. It's affordable. I just got it out of Beauty Bay. If you're in the UK, then that's a really, really good site which does like Morphe, Gerard Cosmetics, stuff like that. Yeah, so I've been loving that brush. Um, next is just a little bronzer palette by e.l.f. The packaging is like this. I don't know, I really love e.l.f. What I love about this is it's got like a massive mirror which is really really handy because I feel like you can take it travelling and you don't need to like try and clean the mirror, it's just like, it's like a really big clear mirror. Uh, yeah, also they, it comes with four different colours and they're like perfect for my skin tone. This one's in the colour Bronze of Beauty and it's just stunning, I think this may be the lightest one but it's really really nice for us pale girls. I'm wearing it today, I just took a mixture, but I have been loving this. It'll be perfect for holiday. I think these little puggings are making some noises, so I'm sorry about that. Next is something a little bit different. It's a book. I mean, I read, but not like a huge amount. I feel like I want to find more time to read more books, so if you get any suggestions, let me know. So this one is called Before I Go to Sleep by S.J. Watson. So my friend Stephanie, she was on holiday and she read this book and it was either a week or two but she was obsessed with it and she was like you need it, you need it so she gave me it and I was reading it. I can't even explain how much this is my favourite book. Like, so good and at the end of, I'm not going to say anything but it's amazing. So if you see it then definitely, definitely pick it up. So yeah, I just want to start reading more and this was like my this was a good book to start because I feel like it's like got my like passion for reading again, you know? Okay. <laughs> Enough of that. Let's jump right into La 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 Don't Want to. Next I'm gonna do this uh, liquid lipstick. Um, it's just by Molly Cosmetics. It's just their matte liquid lipstick and it's, it's in the color sweet pea. I actually won this. Um it was like an Instagram giveaway thing, it was like you had to say when they first posted a picture or something like that, I don't know. But um, yeah, so this is the colour here. It's just like a really nice, it's got like a hint of purple to it. It's just like a nice mauve purple, just, it stays on. Like, trust me, it stays on. I had it on the other day and I went out and had a wrap and I had a lot of food that I shouldn't have had, but it stayed on and it didn't budge and I really, really, really 
feel like I need that in my liquid lipstick. But then again, it isn't drying at all. I feel like there is quite a few um, liquid lipsticks that do dry my lips out. But this doesn't. It's actually really, really, it feels really nice in the lips. Next is just this foundation. It's the Devon Colour State. I've had this for ages. Um, yeah, it was my little sister that introduced me to this because she was obsessed with it. The annoying thing is, I bought mine and then it was like a couple of weeks later and Kate started coming with a pump so mine was just like a, so you know you pour it out to your hand and you've got enough and then a bit of my own other bits come out. But it's fine. Um, yeah, so I really like it. It is, it is for normal to dry skin. I, I have it in a colour 150 buff. I feel like it's the perfect colour I'm wearing it today. I just feel like it's like the only foundation that is pale enough. I feel like every other foundation is a tiny, 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 tiny bit dark. But this is like the perfect colour and it just looks nice in my skin and I just love it. Okay, I just love it. Okay, next is just this bronzer brush by Elf. Um, as, you, as you guys know, like a lot of my products are from like Makeup Revolution or the drugstore or Elf just because I like to get a good deal. I like products that are affordable but they're really good. So yeah, I love this brush. It's just the Elf Stipple Brush. And I just love this for bronzer and a blush. I feel like being pale, it's hard to get a brush that doesn't pack on the bronzer, you know? So I feel like this just does the perfect job, especially for just every day. I just put the tiniest amount. So these two paired together are amazing. I really, 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 really like this little combo. Um, not much more can see. It's soft, it's affordable, and it does the job. Bob your wrinkle. Next, what I want to mention, this is going to be the last thing, but I just wanted to want, I wanted to mention these lashes. They're just the Ardell Natural Pack and they're the Demi Wispies. I am obsessed with these. This is my third like multi-packet. They're just so good. They just go on really nice and I do have quite short lashes as it is and I just feel like these just, they're just so wispy and just so nice. So between these and my Red Cherry 43s, these are like just my favourite. They just look so, so nice. Especially because I don't have the biggest eyes. I feel like they just look really nice. And um, then paired with my Duo Glow. Is that a baby? So the lashes paired with my Duo Glow is just like the perfect combo. Hi, Luna. There's my little puggling. You're not so stimmy today, no? So the lashes paired with my Duo Glow. Why can I not say that? Duo Glow. A taste of the clear gel one it's just amazing and it doesn't see the inner corner that's why i hate wearing eyelashes because the inner corner is and it looks stupid see honestly with them it doesn't budge it doesn't budge and i love it i love it okay so guys i think that is everything hope you all had like a wonderful halloween and now with the countdown to christmas let's not lie so yeah i hope you all enjoyed i'm sorry about the little pug noise in the back but i can't help it and i cute, so i will forgive them uh, yeah, so I hope you all enjoyed. Big thumbs up if you did, and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more of my videos. And I'll see you next time, guys. Bye!